friends, we just got back from our cross the country vacation. It was absolutely awesome. I will definitely do it again. Uh, I don't know that I would go west again. I want to go east next time, but the van life, the camping life, it was just awesome. Awesome. So I did not do a pack with me before vacation because I wanted to do an unpack, kind of an unpack with me after vacation because I wanted to be able to tell y'all what I took, why I took it, um, how I organized it on packing, how it worked out for us, what worked, what didn't work, that kind of thing. And it all seemed to work really great. So it was a wonderful time and I want to show y'all what we did. So we took our 2015 Toyota Sienna, it's just a minivan. Love that minivan. We bought it for the purpose of some family trips over the last few years that uh, Gunner's home with us. He is enlisting in the military and we took this vacation because this is his last big trip before um, before that happens. So uh, his last big trip with us. He went with his mom to the East Coast or East uh, in May. And then now it's late. It's It was the month of July, the whole month of July. Um, with us, he went on our big vacation. So anyway, um, we bought the Sienna for that purpose. And we have loved this Sienna. We slept in it several times. It was awesome. We went camping. I didn't make any reservations anywhere, which is not like me. I'm a list maker and I, I was a little nervous, but I was actually excited because just spontaneous, you know, we kind of, we knew where we were going in the general aspect of things. And then I downloaded an app called free roam on my iPhone and it showed us all kinds of free campsites and it shows campsites that aren't free that you have to pay for, but they just pop up. You see if they're on the road where you're kind of going and you can call if they've got a spot, you can drive up and see if they've got a spot. And that's just what we did. We just winged it. Um, we stayed in a lot of places for free. We stayed in some places for 10 bucks, some places for 15. Uh, I think the most we play, paid was probably $27 for one night, but that place had hot showers. Um, so we bathed in the lake, we bathed in rivers, we bathed in very cold springs. Very um, cold. <laughs> But uh, then we also made sure we stayed in some places that had showers, intentionally looking for places every two or three days that had showers because a cold bath is okay. Um, my hair was fine. It needed washed and it was fine. And we got, we used native shampoo, which is all natural. We were able to use it in the lakes and rivers and springs. Completely fine. And I actually really liked that shampoo. But, um, you know, every couple days we went hot shower. So... Anyway, it all worked out. At one point, I boiled water on the stove, got it nice and warm. Emmy and Justin washed their hair in that nice warm water. It was perfectly fine. It was camping life. It was wonderful. So we took our Toyota Sienna, and then we also took just this little bitty um, dump, dump trailer, flip bed trailer. I don't know. Justin's in the shop, so I don't know what it's called. But anyway, it like if you unhook it, you can tilt it up. Tilt trailer. There you go. You can tilt it up, and it, it flips off. And we took our totes on it and it worked out great. So I'm gonna get into showing y'all what, how I packed it. I'm gonna take you off my tripod, kind of walk around with you. It'll be a little bit of movement in the video, but hopefully not enough to maybe make anybody sick. Okay, Shadow is our helper. Justin is pulling vehicles and uh, toys out of the shop that we put away. So you might hear some background noise, but it's fine. So I've got the back open of the van. It looks like a disaster right now because on the last day I stopped at a thrift store about six hours from home. And instead of putting my thrift store stuff in my toe that was specifically meant for my thrift store things that I found, we just kind of tossed them in the back of the van. We knew we were on our way home. So let's get to that in just a minute. But Justin has undone the ratchet straps. So he just tied these down onto the trailer. Okay. Um, we packed with the intention of possibly sleeping in the van because you never know whenever we weren't going to find a campground or they were going to be full or whatever and we would need to sleep in the van and we did that ah, a few times and it worked out great it was fine we were all comfortable so because i didn't want to pack a whole bunch of stuff in the van we packed these are our clothes totes he didn't undo that strap for me why did he not undo that strap for me let's see Oh, maybe he loosened it. Wow. Ta-da! There we go. Let's pull it through over here, guys. Men can never have too many ratchet straps. Okay. 
So on these totes, these top ones here were our clothes. So this was Gunner's bag and um, his clothes and he put some of his souvenir stuff that he bought in there. So this was Justin's, which he's already taken out of there. And within Justin's, he put this little heater, which we took with us. It is electric and we took our generator. Uh, it's actually called an inverter. I, I reckon that's what Justin calls it all the time. So that was that tote. And then this tote is mine and Emmy's, which we have not unpacked yet. So we've got my bag, Emmy's bag, our extra shoes, some shampoo. Now down on the bottom, we had one tote specifically designated for designated for vehicle maintenance. So we had some oil change stuff in there. We had like the oil drip pan, um, some different things like that. And then we had two more extra totes that we specifically took for yard selling, thrift storing. I love to do that kind of thing. So I kind of did that like across the country. So they have some things that I got from the thrift stores and the yard sales in there. And then we had this little black table, which is the only table we started with, uh, just to put my camp stove on for cooking. We took our propane here. I really need Justin over here to help undo some of this stuff. He went over there and started moving vehicles instead. Uno and so, okay, I can't do it one handed. So I got this side and Justin has come anyway so we took this table for our to set my camp stove on for cooking breakfast at lunch dinner and whatnot you can go ahead and move that tent if you want to we took our tent with us and set up the tent of course and we had our our propane here for the fire pit and then we took an extra gas jug to keep fuel in case we needed it down here, we have our lawn chairs, and this is an old camp stove that Gunner found on the side of the road that he stopped and picked up. And then that is our toilet that we normally keep in the camper. Um, it got really dirty and stuff from the drive, but it's fine. It'll clean up fine. Uh, but let me tell you, that was like the best thing for primitive camping on dispersed, like dispersed primitive camping, not paying for a site. There's no picnic table, no fire ring, no nothing, no bathroom. We had our own. It was awesome. And then up here in these totes, let's talk about this. This is a, it says, what does it say? What's the name of that, that one store? Cabela's. Um, this is a camp table that I got at the thrift store and I got it for $50. I was so excited. It's huge, it's very heavy. So I probably won't move it, but anyway, I was excited about that. And so Justin said I could get it and he would strap it on and it worked fine for us, so. But in these totes, we have some of the, one is just like a miscellaneous tote. We kept like our dish sinks in here, just some different things. And then, you know, I really can't tell you what, what is in all these totes, except I can tell you that I have a camp kitchen. It's got my cook stove, my dishwashing stuff, all that. Babe, could you move that big old heavy table up there? And then I could open up the tote and show them. Yep. All right, so he has moved that. So. In this tote, we had our dog food, our electric cook stove, which I did not use all the time because we only used it when we needed the generator. And I had our box of sunscreen and after sun stuff. And then I also kept our med bags in here, just in case we needed something. And then this one is my camp kitchen. We've got our camp stove, we've got our tablecloth, our dish strainer, all of our pots and pans, the uh, propane for the camp stove, Anything I needed for a kitchen is in this. Okay, and let's move to the other side here. Oh, 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 oh. I found this at the thrift store. It's a collapsible dish drainer and I thought that this would be handy in the camper because I try to keep a camp kitchen for when we go down to the river like here at home. And then I also have stuff separate in the camper and I thought this would be good to have in the camper. And this is one of the totes that I put some of my thrift storing stuff in and just some extra miscellaneous stuff. This is our dry bag uh, for when we would go kayaking on our trip. And then this is some stuff I got from the thrift store and just some extra dry foods. We had some chips and some crackers and whatnot like that in here. And let me take some of these down and I will move on. Found Gunner's shoes. Apparently they ended up right there. He must have just shoved them through and then they made it. So, let me get this open. 
I can't do it one-handed. Uno momento. Okay, this one on the bottom, next to my kitchen tote, was my pantry tote. And I packed it plumb full of everything, and we used a bunch of it. And then when I bought, when I would buy groceries again, we bought groceries every five days. I mean, we bought groceries on day six every time, so we'd have five days worth of groceries at a time. And then on day six, we'd go shopping. And this is what we have left. So that was our food tote, pantry tote. And Justin would just undo the ratchet strap and he would pull that one down. And I, this one's pretty much stayed on here all the time and I would just come get what I needed out of it, which was awesome. So the next thing we got, we have our little predator inverter and this is our propane fire pit. That's why we have the propane tank right down there that I just showed you. We did use this. We knew we were going to some places that were gonna be cold and we pulled it out and sat around the fire. A lot of places that we were at, campfires were banned because of the risk of burning. So, but we were, were able to use gas stoves at those places and you could have a propane fire fireplace, fire pit. So we took this, this is Justin's toolbox, which he took because uh, our intention of this entire trip was to buy a car um, and get it home just something fun that he and Gunnar wanted to do, an old car. And what they ended up buying was a 1970 Ford Torino. Justin has a 1969 Ford Torino, and Gunnar wanted one like Dad's. He strolled across a 1970 Ford Torino, which he's very excited about, only we did not get it running. Um, actually found it really close to home, so they just went and picked it up, and there it is. Gunnar, are you a little excited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, but we uh, took the toolbox just in case. And then this is our um, water jug. It's a six gallon water jug that we just got from Walmart. And we would fill that up and use this to wash dishes and whatnot. We kept cases of bottled water for drinking and cooking. But this is what we use to wash dishes or fill the pan up and heat up to wash our hair or whatever. And this, I wonder if it's got a picture on the outside. Well, I can't pull it up, but it's a little pop-up tent. And actually, it's so easy. It just folds right up and puts it back, puts back in there. But it fits right over our toilet. So easy. And so that's what we used. Hey, honey. Nope, oh, here we go. It's a portable pop-up pod. And so this is what we would use when we were dispersed primitive camping and needed a bathroom. And we used it many, many times. Um, whenever we would stay somewhere like when we had the van camp one night we had the van camp at a truck stop which we were off in the gravel parking lot and it was like really private we were by ourselves but the next morning when I wanted to change clothes and stuff we set this up I changed clothes in it Gunnar and Justin we all changed clothes in it and it worked out really great and this was like I, was this like 30 bucks 20 bucks this was like 20 dollars on the online so that was awesome to use and we will keep that and use it frequently I'm sure okay now moving on to the van I know I'm talking y'all's head off but hear me out in the van we ate dinner on the way home and so there's some boxes in here I gotta get thrown away and then these bags and this shelf and stuff all this stuff wasn't here because that's what I got at the last thrift store before we knew we were coming home that night so what we did in the van we just had these coolers this cooler did not have ice in it, okay? It kept our eggs in it. Shadow, we ain't going nowhere right now. We ain't going nowhere, baby. No. Uh, we, kept, we took farm fresh eggs that had not been refrigerated, and so they did not need to be refrigerated. Here, get down. Come on. Get down. So we kept those in here so they wouldn't break and they would still be good. So um, that's where that stayed. And of course we used, we kept all of our cold stuff in this cooler. This is a very good cooler. It would, we only had to put ice in it like every three days. So that was awesome. Um, and then when it, on a night that we would need to camp in the van, we knew when we get parked wherever, we would just take these two coolers out, strap them. He would strap them on the trailer. And that was that. Something that I did keep in the back of the van, I kept my shower bag. And Justin already took his in. But we kept his shower bag and my shower bag, which Emmy and I shared ours. And then Justin and Gunnar shared the boys. But no matter, like, if we drove by and we saw um, some fresh water, like a spring or a river or something like that, we could stop and easily access our shampoo and whatnot to jump in and get cleaned. 
Okay, something else we kept in this little cubby, we kept some toilet paper because some of those bathrooms don't have toilet paper. We'll just say that and you never know. This bag right here is what I called my winter bag. Let me move some of this stuff out of here. All right, I got, I got some of our thrift store stuff and then like the, t the leftover boxes from food and whatnot from the last day gone. So anyway, uh, we kept this. I made a, what we call a winter bag. It is July, so of course where we live in Southern Missouri, it was very hot. And let me, okay. We have, I kept, every, each, each person got a hoodie, a pair of gloves, and then down in the bottom, there are like some beanies and whatnot, head covers. So I kept this winter bag, always kept it in the van. So no matter where we stopped, whenever we set the tent up, the winter bag would go in the tent. So if it's cold in the nighttime, somebody can just grab their hoodie or their beanie and put it on. And so that went with us everywhere. This is a bag of dirty clothes. And so we would just keep this trash bag. When we had dirty clothes, we would start the bag. And when it got full, we would stop in a laundromat and wash them. And we kept our swim clothes. They usually lived right here. But after we used all the eggs, uh, they ended up going in this cooler. So we kept our swim clothes and our hats, like our sun hats, in here. After the eggs went bye-bye. That's something that we had in the back of the van. The kids are playing with some planes from Hobby Lobby. Okay. This is just an extra cooler that we had um, like some drinks in and stuff like that. So we tried to not open the food cooler often. We would only open the drink cooler when we needed it. And this is our portable air conditioner. We did take it because it was July, like I said, when we left. And for a while it was on the trailer. And then one night we were camping and we were sleeping in the van and it was really hot that night. It was like, it was outside of Vegas and it was like 116 degrees. So Justin actually brought it in the van and he just put an extension cord through here and plugged it to the inverter, turned this on. We camped so nice. It was so cool in the van and this little thing, um, I can't get to it, but this pulls out and it like stretches so that you can put it, it has a rectangle piece. And what we did was roll this window down, put the rectangle piece in it, roll the window back up and it worked so great. It was so nice. And then Justin and I had plenty of room to sleep on this side. And the rest of the back of the van was, you see some of these bags that were my last thrift store extravaganza, but these are our blankets. So we always kept our blankets right here. So they were easy access. And then we all kind of sat with our pillows in the van. So our pillows are, they were actually on, I had mine on my lap. Amy had hers behind her head. Gunner had his on his lap or behind his head, just whatever. So if we stopped somewhere to camp and we had to camp in the van, we would simply pull this cooler out, this cooler out. He would strap them down because we didn't want them stolen or anything. He would strap them down onto the trailer and then the back seats got scooted all the way up and Emmy slept crossways on the back seat. The front seat reclines all the way back. So Gunnar slept in the front seat and he slept fine. And then Justin and I would make a bed back here because this was all open. and. Justin is 5'10", and he was able to sleep back here very comfortably, as was I, and, and plus we had Shadow, our dog, with us, so. <laughs> but it worked out really nice, and so I was very excited about that. The way that we organized the back of the van, the way that we organized the trailer, it just, I was so pleased and happy that it worked so unbelievably well. And we were able to tent camp most of the time, but if and when we did need to sleep in the van or van camp, as we call it, um, it was comfortable, it was fine. And one more thing I do wanna tell y'all that I took, I already took them out, so that's why it didn't cross my mind until right now. I took specifically privacy towels. Oh, I missed one. Well, that one didn't make that wash. So when we got home, I done put a load of towels in the wash, so I took them all out. But I took some of our extra beach towels and I specifically called those privacy towels. We weren't allowed to use those for showers or anything. I kept them in a pile, easy access, uh, just behind this back seat here where our blankets were. And whenever we would need to van camp somewhere, we would put this sunshade up in the windshield 
and then we would put the privacy towels over all the windows and the only ones that didn't get it were these don't roll roll down but they have these little shades on them and these just come right down like this so Justin and I were sleeping in the back so we didn't we felt fine with that but um, we would just pull those little shades up and then this back glass didn't have a way to put like a privacy thing over it and we didn't have any that like set in the window they do make some so if y'all want absolutely nobody to be able to see in your vehicle you can get those or make them your own make some your own to put in the back window but I didn't want anybody to be able to look in our vehicle and see our children so which I know my children are 11 and 16 but still um so I did take a a pile of towels that were specifically for that so um, Justin unstrapped these red totes down here. So just before I tie up this video, I just wanted to show you this was a tote with our Emmy's Big O Beach hat went in here. But this is one of our thrift store totes. Surprise to you as it is to me. Another thrift store tote. Kept those specific. And there's our laundry soap where we stop at the laundromat. And then this was our vehicle maintenance tote. So that is that. I threw the trash out over here. I'm going to go get a big trash bag and clean everything out of the van now and clean all this up and go put all the food back in the pantry that we didn't use or what we have left from our last shopping trip. <sighs> it's gonna be quite the day, but it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get it. So that was what we took, why we took it, how we organized it. We did use the electric burner. Some places we stayed, it was so windy and our gas um, gas cook stove, propane cook stove. It, it just wasn't getting it. It, was, it wasn't going to get it with all that wind. So then we would just hook the inverter up, put the extension cord on it, and use the electric burner. I'm glad that we took both. Um, we keep the electric burner in our camper. We didn't put a stove in the kitchen. We just used that electric burner, and it worked so great. So if you don't have a camper, they're rearranging stuff. If you don't have a camper, don't feel like you have to rent hotels or anything. Get you a tent. They are relatively inexpensive, but also the good thing is they will not just be used once. I do recommend just, just go camping. If you're not the camping type, suck it up. Go see what's out there to see. And if you can't afford a hotel every night, I can't afford a hotel every night, and I, and I won't afford a hotel every night. That's ridiculous. Whenever you can stay somewhere for free. You can stay somewhere for less than 30 bucks. So suck it up, get you a tent, go see what there is to see out there. It's really fun, you won't regret it. Just budget, just, oh, it was so much fun and I recommend it so much. So anyway, I got lots to do. I'll see y'all in the next one, stay tuned. I did record, um, speaking of budgeting and being able to afford a vacation like this, I did record what we ate about approximately how much it cost and the gnats are swarming me and I recorded where we stayed um, and how much it cost then. So just, um, let's see. You all might wanna know where we went. We left Missouri, we went north to South Dakota. Then we went across, we went to Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Washington, down California, around through Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, back up to Oklahoma and back to Missouri where we are now. So anyway. Stay tuned to see what we ate and how much it cost us and where we stayed, how much it cost us.